going. Marcus! Hello, Peter. Hello, Dan. What are you doing there? I've just come to promote the um, the new package that we have at Innovation Fire and Security. What's it? What, what's that then? Uh, it's all about a residential product that you can um, buy a security system or a CCTV system at uh, low uh, interest free over 15 weeks or uh, a really low interest rate over 15 months. How can I find out a bit more information? It's all about the link below. Link below where? Talk of the town. Oh. <laughs> Harry? Harry? I'm not Harry. You're not, not Harry. Yeah, I know. This is awkward. Should we just do it? Yeah. Come on, you red. Welcome. Another episode. Talk of the town. What oh, episode is it? Eleven. Double figures. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Big. Never Huge. thought it would happen. No, neither did I. I don't think anyone did really. But here we are. Uh, away win. Bosh. Superb. Um, unbelievable. Really. What a day. I mean, fans. I how good are they? Superb. Uh, that is generally since I've been here the best away day. Even as a fan, really, I think the best atmosphere we've created, obviously, and the old smashing of the roof helped. But yeah, no, that was that was really, really good. I mean, the yeah, togetherness uh, between the players uh, and the fans was probably re the reason why they were probably so loud was because of the performance. Oh yeah, obviously the 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 result helped as well. But no, the I think on on the field, I think things are going pretty pretty well, aren't they? Uh, yeah, we're certainly on the up. Obviously, we spoke to John earlier in the press conference. He didn't doesn't really appreciate us looking at the table, you know, this early on. But you know, we're on Saturday, and we are in those, you know, dare I say it, the P word as some people call it, the playoffs. But the old nose uh, nosebleed. Uh, oh yeah, certainly. But um, territory. No, it, it, things are going well off on the pitch as well as they are off the pitch. As I, you know, as I just said, the, the the togetherness, should I say, of the squad and the the fans has been really, really good. You know, you saw John walking up, shaking everybody's hand. That you know came hundred people. You know, as I said, brilliant sport. All the players coming over, really appreciating it. You know. I know they just lost, but the Rochdale players were all walking off sulking, you know. But our, you know, our players, even after a loss, they'll always go and clap the fans, and the sports always really appreciated. Yeah, but that's that's one thing that John sort of instills in the group: win, lose, or draw. Mm. You know, they're the fans; they they, they travel all the country, they pay, they pay all that money, and he he, he wants to thank them, and uh, he makes sure the players do that. And you know, even after a win, he will drum home. You know. Yeah. Hard work's not stopped now. It's, yeah. it, you know, now now it's time to kick on mm. and keep winning and keep climbing the old table. Yeah, well, yeah, it's hard work for the fans as well. I know. Obviously, Steve Herbert does a bit in their program every week, and I read just read his bit for Tramway this morning, and you know, he said waking up at half past five every week, looking to go and watch Crawley Way, probably isn't everybody else's idea of you know a good day out but you know for those hundred or so that do follow us week in week out on the road it's you know it's part of their life and as you say you, when you think about you know the train you know if they do get the train you got to do your food you've got to do your match ticket you know tickets for Rochdale weren't you know cheap you, you know you're almost looking at 100 pound a day if not more and you know doing that you know every other week is incredible talking to Rochdale let's have a look at what Charlie has done and uh put his magic on it oh yeah as always behind the scenes guys
round the corner. Ball back in. Appia tries the shot. It's blocked off. Gets it square. Sarula into the box. Can Sarula find the shooting angle? Onto his left foot across the goal. And it's stamped home. And Crawley have the lead. And Appia drives it home. Nick Sarula, I think in all honesty, was trying to find the back of the net and drive it across the keeper. But Appia was alert to it. And with the clock saying 13 and a half minutes gone, Appia warrants his selection in the side this afternoon. And Crawley have their noses in front. It's Rochdale nil. Crawley Town won. Great goal, Ken. Yeah, and it was a great move, wasn't it? I mean, on that far side. I mean, Tom did so well, didn't he, to, to get himself round, get the ball across the... It sort of went to Appy in the beginning, came out, sort of pow, and, and uh, of course he got in there each other's way, and then bang, goal. Fantastic goal. 1-0. Yep, brilliant as always from the Chaz Master, as we like to call him. Superb. But yeah, that's not been the only impressive performance this season. We've had a fair few. We have, yeah. I think on a whole, it's it's started slowly. Obviously, mm. uh, a loss away on the first day of the season. But as a whole, uh, pretty, pretty impressive. Um, enjoyable to watch. Very Plenty cool. of goals. Bit of excitement. Ups and downs. But we've, we've as a whole, yeah, we, we're, we're looking... Looking okay. Especially considering we're only 11 games into the season as well. Yeah, it seemed a lot longer There's than that. So many, yeah, it does. So many emotions in such a short space of time. Oh, that's really. football, brother. That oh, was yes. football. Oh, yes. The ups, and the, the ups and the downs. But yeah, no, we've had we've had a fair share of memories already, I'd say. You know, that Nick Sarula goal sort of springs to mind and diving into the crowd. Quezzy, you know, going straight up to the fans at Rochdale. Almost too many to remember. Such well, should we have a little recap? I think we should, yeah. Let's go. Shut <laughs> 
CTFC. CTFC. How good was that? Uh, superb. Some bangers. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, as I said, sort of mental how only 11 games in you've already got all of that yeah you forget a lot don't you because yeah. like you said earlier the the emotions that you go through it's uh yeah it's good to take a stock of mm. some wonderful uh moments that we've had this season yeah and obviously we've looked back now let's look forward we shall Sutton local big, derby big game huge we game. haven't had a local derby in forever have we you can't consider Leighton Orient a local derby no you? no um but yeah yeah obviously used to have a kind of derby with AFC Wimbledon mm -hmm. didn't you that but that yeah. was that was no, Wombles. yeah but no this this is this is our this is closest probably, rival yeah, isn't it well hopefully the game lives up to the hype yeah and then yeah. we can get a you know should should we both be in the same league next season hopefully it would just carry on and we can get a proper little local derby game. yeah first of many but what what do we need what do we need fans fans we need to get the we need a 12th man we need oh the, yeah we need the 12, fans 13, to get the 14th 15th all them thousand a thousand yeah thousand fans yeah so maybe. our aim this week is to get all of you guys at mm. the ground bring a mate bring everyone they're going to bring a load no oh, yeah we got to bring a load we got to back the boys yeah and yeah let's make we, it our we, biggest of the season so far if we do a, that we could be up in the old playoffs oh yeah which would be lovely wouldn't yeah, it i think you can we can go as high as third place can we third place with a win apparently if results wow. also go, Gee, go wow. but yeah no as many people there as possible would be superb you know it's been a while since we've had a really big crowd you know we're looking to do that this week you know Sutton obviously looking at their their attendances so far this season been really good expect them to bring quite a few down yeah that, uh, they bring you know uh, sorry they have about four thousand mm. for their home game so we we want the same we want big numbers we've got a lot going on we've got the domino's pizza giveaway we've got while well, cats away is going on uh and oh, the ball yeah. court behind the uh the by by red spa which sutton fans will be taking on crawley fans it's game even before. so it's going to go right off oh yeah before be off the right o off yeah so yeah no i'm going to be there uh oh yeah get round for that, that so there you be, go that'd be a laugh Why not? it but no bring a friend literally not a bottle just bring oh, a friend yeah. and yeah make it make it make some noise oh, make yeah. it a right good yeah. saturday no and everyone's behind this aren't they you know obviously spoke to john well i didn't speak to john keith spoke to john and jack powell a little bit earlier on today to find out what he thought about getting as many people down there as possible let's go all right so boys i've got a I've got a problem and I wanted you boys to try and answer it for me. What's the capital of France? I don't know. Yeah. But I went, to, I went to Rochdale on Saturday and saw you play and I was buzzing. And we play well and we win away. And I was driving home and I see the Sutton result and they won and they did well. And then I looked in the paper to see who scored and I saw that they had nearly 4,000 fans at home game. And I thought, why don't Crawley get 4,000 fans at a home game? I've always been told we can't. The fans that are here this season have been great, but we just need twice as many of them. We should have 5,000 people in here cheering us on. What do we have to do to get them, boys? For me personally, when, when uh, going back in the day when we was here, we got big crowds. Um, I think with Saturn, the Saturn thing, let's, let's be honest, it's their first season in the, in the Football League. Um, so they've still got the novelty value about them. I just thought, I think people in Crawley sometimes are taking it for granted that there's a football league side here and the word football league as Jack will tell you in a minute to play in the football league is completely you know don't ever 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 take it for a granted that you can play in the football league if you're lucky enough to work or manage at any one club in the football league count yourself lucky because as soon as you leave there'll be hundreds of people that will be there for your job now when it comes to supporting the club Jack, I tell you, he's a West Ham boy, and me being south of the water, the posh part of London, <laughs> you know, Millwall, Chris, it, we, it used to be a day out for us to go to football. It was a privilege, you know, and they never had the biggest crowd, Millwall Palace, uh, West Ham at the time, but the little mob that was there, you'd have them backing you wherever you want to go. And I think we've got that here, we've got that core. It's just adding uh, what I used to call like your Sunday, your Saturday afternoon shoppers you got to bring them in. You used to do like a pal to the game. Come and bring your mate. You all have to have a drink, buy a burger, have a laugh, have a joke. Next week you might want to come back. There might be three or four of you coming. All of a sudden you get supporters. You've got to get them at the young age as well.
because you've got Palace up the road and there's a team that plays in blue over West London somewhere that buys a league every year. Chelsea, somewhere Chelsea, like that. Yeah, Trump yeah, buy the league every year. Yeah. So you've got teams like that that you can go and watch. But Randy, yeah, I, I just think it's changing people's mindset that you have got a Premier Football League club, not a non-league club. And by Premier, I'm not saying Premier League, but you've got good players, you've got good opposition, you get good atmosphere here. It's not like the old days here where you come here and you can just bunk in because your mate used to work on the gate. You know, there's bills to play. But, you know, come and enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I'm sure that there's still be shouting and screaming at us that they're not enjoying it. Yeah, well, like I, mean, I do with the players. But the, the football's enjoyable. I mean, you can see, Jack, you must enjoy playing here because you can see on the pitch the boys are enjoying themselves. Yeah, definitely. I think, go back to last season, again, like, we kind of we had some great moments here. Obviously, the wins that we got, the, the cup run we went on, and we didn't get to share that with any fans. Um, so it'd be nice to see kind of uh, bigger crowds and bigger followings come to these games. We've got, obviously, a good group of fans behind the goal getting yeah. going every game, and uh, it'd just be nice to see even that end just, just fall, like I said earlier. But, um, yeah, like, all we can do as players is kind of put on a show, if you like. That's what football's about. It's about entertaining people. Um, and I'm sure if people would have given the opp would have been given the opportunity to say whether they would have come to say a Leeds game last year or not, they'd all say yes. Yeah. But don't leave it to that. Don't leave it to the point where oh, I wish I would have gone to that game. How old were you when you went to see your first West End game? Um, I think my first games actually I went to Leighton Orient when yeah. I was about six, something like that. But um, yeah, West Ham I would have gone when I was sort of like seven or eight, something like that. So see, if you'd done that nowadays, though, you'd be had up for child cruelty, wouldn't it? <laughs> Taking him to West Ham. <laughs> yeah. Where is for Millwall, sir? Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> then that's when he got his rehab. <laughs> but no, see what it is. I think once you get them through the door, and it's a very, you know, this club as well. It, it, it's it's the it's the supporters club. Me and Jack go, and this will still be here. Yeah. But you've got to make people proud to come here. You've got to make them have a little bit of pride about it. And like Jack says, the boys that go away games and, and you know, the crowd that get here, they, they, you know, they are, they are, it's their club. We're just custodians of it, we're just looking after it for them. So come and support it and come and be what you can be with it and make it your club. Yeah, because if we, I mean, from a commercial point of view, I'm supposed to try and raise money for the club. Another 2,000 fans makes a massive difference to the bottom line, which means we can invest more in players, we can help you invest in the team. And that's what we need to do. And it's the the vibe in the club is great. We get two and a half thousand people. And you said to me earlier, the thrill of scoring the goal against Gillingham and the buzz that was behind the goal was fantastic, wasn't it? If yeah. people could experience that and see it, they'd come. I think so, it's probably that initially, obviously, just coming to your first game. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we have a lot of entertaining games here. We like to think that we play an inter entertaining style of football. We do. Um, and like I said earlier, that like we. We've had some good results, do you know what I mean? Like we're, we've got a good home record. Um, brought obviously a couple of big sides down here and, uh, and given a good game. Uh, been on the TV, like you say, last year, things like that. But there's nothing better than experiencing it live, um, getting amongst the action and, and kind of seeing some good football being played. Yeah, it used to be when, when we was like in London, where we was, it used to be you smell the hot dogs and onions and you know you're at a game. You know, the cold, you might not be able to afford one, and you try and nick one as the geezers look, look in and all them sort of things, you know. We don't do that in Crawley, nicking no. up dogs, no, <laughs> no, no. no. But it, it, that, that's what it was, it was a day, it was a day and all your mates and then you go round to your back to your flats and you might be punching out with the Chelsea supporters or punching out with the Palace supporters, West Ham supporters and, and there was only two, I think, <laughs> and, and all that sort of thing and that made a day of it. Well, you've got a common thing here now, you know, and that's bring the kids, there is a lot. I know there's all these silly games on TV and all that now that you can sit indoors and put a, put a button on and you're at any ground in the country. Well, as Jack said, you know, people like Jimmy Grease and that, bless him, who, who you know, was talked to his family and that, and Steve and that. Them sort of players, Stevie Perriman and that, they was great players. And the only reason you knew they was great players is you had to get up your backside and go and watch them. Yeah. And that's like Jack, where Jack got his nickname. What was it? Peck and Perlo. Peck and Perlo which is to me, I didn't even, I thought it was an haircut, but <laughs> you know, and, and that was Georgie Best, Bobby Charlton, you know, it wrote, reels off. You're actually seeing them play. Well now I don't think it's laziness, isn't it? Stay indoors, put the thing on, and let's all watch Man United v Man City for the 27th time that week. Yeah. Um, and just, just come and watch it. 
Just come and get out, you know, get some air in your lungs. The thing is as well, like knowing what it's like, obviously being involved in a higher level, you don't Different get levels. that interaction of course you don't. with the players and whatever else. Here, like, do you know, when you come down the side of the pitch, you get the players coming over willing to kind of have pictures taken with you. Yeah, yeah. A bit of more interaction at this level, do you know what I mean? So I think you can't kind of let that go and miss. You, you go to higher levels and they won't even let you down the side of the pitch, let alone no, yeah. a picture with someone or something like that, do you know what I mean? People don't want to know, do they, no. at a higher level? So, no. um, not saying they're bad people at that level, but just don't get the opportunity to do that. Yeah, yeah, like, do you know what I mean? You, we have kind of pictures with, with fans and, and we're, we're willing to come over and sign autographs. Yeah, we like are. That, so. I mean, this season we, we've seen the fans get better and we're trying hard to show them a good time. I mean, we get bullies now on the side, he's walking around going and seeing the fans during the games, taking the players into Red's Bar after for promotion. All the players are keen to do it. So we've got lots of things we're doing. On Saturday, we've got a soccer AM style while the cat's away thing, and we've invited some Sutton fans to come and play against our fans and we're trying to do that. So yeah. we're trying to do things around the game. So all we really need to do is get the people on Saturday to come and support us against Sutton, show that Crawley is a big town and we are a big side. We know for a fact that the team will give it 100%. So just really a call to the fans to come in and support us. And we'll... Yeah, all you ask them to do is come here, back the side, good or bad. Yeah. If you're trying to attract people, because sometimes when you're sitting there in front of when you're 70, 80,000 people there, you don't hear the abuse as much as if there's six or seven. Do you get 2,000 people, you hear everything. You know, you can hear someone snoring in the back sometimes. Um, and, and that's the difference. So when they are behind you, they're behind you because the players are playing in front of anything. That's why they're professionals. That's why we deal with what you've got to do. And that's why the dressing room is a very, very funny place. If you get accepted in the dressing room, you can accept it in most places because a lot of people don't. It's the same with a club, you know, it's your club. You know, you go to Millwall, you go to West Ham, and there's people there that's passed down in generations and generations. I just think that with here, don't underestimate that the football club's here, because if you don't support it, it might not be here long enough. You're on. We're on. We're, We're back. On. We're back. So, yeah, good chat. Three of them just chewing the old fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think there was a few interesting points in there made by John and Jack and obviously Keith as well. I think the biggest one, I think John's right. We can't take for granted that we are a football league club. Obviously, we haven't, in the grand scheme of things, when you look at your Bradfords, you look at your Tranmere's, we haven't been a football league club for that long. And you don't want to take that for granted because, you know, if you lose that, you know, obviously it's not good, obviously, but... It's something that we haven't experienced for that long. I think it's probably, what, 11... I'm going to get shot for getting this wrong, but probably 11, 12 years, 13 years, maybe, we've been in the Football League. Possibly. Give or take, I think, 11, because 2010, 11, so about then. Mm. You know, facts, knowledge, and all that. I was only 10, so you can forgive me. Yeah, I think I was 22, probably. Probably, yeah, 21, you know, yeah. just came out of high school. Mm -hmm. anyway. But, yeah, no, we can't take that for granted. You know, it's, it's, re it's a really good thing to have. I think there's not really, you know... Other, surrounded by us is mainly Prem. You know, obviously, you've got a couple of championships mm. dotted around, but you can't take that for granted. No, I think John's right. It's, from where, where I'm from, I've got to travel into into London to mm. get a league a league team. So I think it's massive, and I think mm. we should appreciate it, get behind the boys. Oh, yeah. And it is. It is, it is proper football. You know, you, mm. your, your access to the fans, uh, sorry, the players is... is is better than yeah know, the Premier. I know Jack the, the, touched on that there. You know, you're not in the Premier League. You don't get, you don't get. I don't know Pep Guardiola shaking the hands of every fan that's come to. I don't know Chelsea away, do you? Not, and the, 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 you the know same. when the when the players score, they jump into the crowd. Oh yeah, it's not. Can't, yeah. can't do that down, no, down the bridge, no, can you? No, because you're miles away from the pitch. I, exactly, especially in the East End. Yeah. Yes. yes. There you go. Terrible. Oh yeah. yeah, but it's been a busy week. Has it? Oh yeah. I know you've been busy. Um, always busy. Yeah. That's me. I am. But no, we're getting the old uh, gratitude scheme yeah. off the ground. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, we're giving away 2,000 tickets. Um, yeah, with a, a, f a few guys, uh, stakeholders. We've got oh, the yeah. uh, we've got the Crawley Town bid. Yeah. Centre bid. We've Man got of Royal the, bid. The Man of Royal bid. Community Foundation. Council. Crawley Observer. Crawley Observer. K2. Everyone active. Everyone yeah. active at K2. Oh, yeah. I think that's pretty much all of them. Um, 
uh, and the Greenaway. Um, oh yeah, I knew that, I knew there was one more. Yeah, but yeah, the 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 we're giving them tickets around Christmas. Cause they do fantastic uh, work around Christmas, where they feed a lot of the uh, uh, families that are underprivileged, and um, yeah, make sure they get presents and food for Christmas, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, and yeah, just just working on that really. Yeah, this is more about giving back, isn't it? The gratitude scheme, because you know, obviously, everyone knows that. The amazing work that the frontline workers did over COVID, you know, you know, we were playing behind closed doors, but it wouldn't have been possible without a lot of those people. So it's about time that, you know, we give something back. Yeah, we keeps coming. Um, obviously, Alex and a new sort of coming out of COVID, a new sense of sort of belongingness, and and and, and you know, got to make it worth it. Mm. And uh, it's about giving back, like you said. And uh, we just want to invest in the community and hopefully they're they're investing in us and obviously uh, uh a lot's been going on in crawley mm. oh yeah bobby the g town rats uh, bobby g the one and only bob geldoff yep he had his crawley shirt on didn't he oh. yes 70 was it the 70 dog yeah, in the bob back geldoff, 70, yeah. is he 70 years old he is yeah only last week yeah so he's looking birthday, right bob well done mate watch this is he but you know. call me <laughs> uh i didn't get invited to the birthday so uh. Um, but no, yes. No, that was, I'm sure we can play a little clip over the top of this, but the old sax player for the old Rat Trap came out in a Crawley shirt, wowed the crowd. I mean, I wasn't there, I've just seen the video, but yeah, it looked like I, the right old part. I, 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 John had a great time, feeling oh. a bit of a rough voice in the next couple of days. Who, John? Yeah. Singing, yeah. Singing away, Don't Like Mondays. Yeah, that's the only one he knows, I think. Yeah, it? that's the only one I know, really. But anyway. But Bl no. Blondie and Luddy were there as well. They were they? It. Yeah from what they i'm sure they could understand they absolutely loved it i bet they don't like mondays anymore do they uh no i can imagine they despise mondays after that but anyway but no lots going on um we just want you guys to get beyond the uh, beyond the troops oh yes you know especially against sutton uh it's, we want to make it into a proper local derby we want to hear your voices uh get beyond the players bloody shout get a free pizza Ooh. get on to the uh, the ball court at reds uh, you're going to see uh, Crawley beat Sutton in the old cat's away. First time that day. Uh, yeah, exactly. One of two. Oh, first of many to oh, come. Yeah. Oh, big. Big time. Huge. Massive. But yeah, no, just bring, you know, bring your dog, bring your nan, bring anyone, literally. I'm not sure dogs are allowed in. No, dogs aren't allowed. Leave them outside. But yeah, just bring as many people as you can, you know. Make them want to come back. Bring your kids. Under 11, they go free. Oh. Can't say fair on that, can you? No, you can't. Anyway, bring anyone. But guys, buy, program, buy everything. Get behind the team. Get behind John. Players, everyone, and bring it home. Come on, you Reds!